Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be doing an expansion draft accepting all trades. All trades accepted, whatever you want to call it. Same thing, okay? So I've created a team here called the Bristol Blades. I'm not really... I'm kind of debating on just doing an auto draft. I'm not going to lie for the expansion, but... I don't know. We'll see what happens here. So owner mode off. Let's add a contract here just for the sake of, you know, the video. Uh, salary cap, we'll leave it on. Head coach edit lines. No, don't even touch my lines. Player morale, we'll turn that off. Obviously, CPU trades we want to be on. Um, no, we're not. No one's exempt. <laughs> there we go. And this doesn't really matter. Okay, so I think we should be good with these settings. Yeah, that's all right. Continue. And then obviously, I'm going to have to turn off injuries and stuff like that. But, you know, we should be ready to go for the most part. Is my game crashing? I think my game is crashing. Nice. Oh, never mind. Hello? Are we sure? Okay, I guess I'll change those at a later date then. <laughs> Just wanted to turn off injuries. Jeez. No need to be so in my face about it. Let's see. Is it going to work this time? Aha! Nice. A workaround. Injuries are off. Okay. Uh, when did that happen? Did these change? I don't know. Anyway, uh, waivers on. Yeah, we'll leave all this stuff on for now, I suppose. And I think we're pretty much good to go. Blockbuster trade alerts? Sure. Let me know. Fill me in. What are you, James Shabalski? Okay, so let's go to the draft, I suppose. I don't think there's anything else I have to do at this point in time. So let us advance to the expansion draft. All right, here we go. Let's do this thing. And we... and. Do we not get a draft pick? Am I crazy? Okay. Unless I'm missing us, but I don't see Bristol anywhere. Interesting. Okay. Well, that's rude, but whatever. We are off to a blazing hot start here. I realized that I did it with the default roster, so they are very out of date. And... Yeah. I'm thinking this should make a difference, so I gotta set this all up again. All right, hopefully second time's the charm and not the third. We should be okay this time, but let's see. Yep, and yep, I'm aware. Advance to the expansion draft. Cool, let's do this thing. And here we go, this is gonna be telling. If Manson's here, then I know it's messed up. Okay, we should be okay for the most part then. Uh, yeah, let's take Sonny Milano, why not? Really, Mangiapane is... On the... Okay, yeah, let's grab him. Samuel Gerard. I guess they just have so many players, they can't really protect a lot. So let's take Sammy. You know, I don't want to get ahead of myself or anything here, but I think our team's going to be pretty sick. I mean, I'm not really factoring in the whole accepting all trades part, but this team looks pretty sick. We got some young players here, and I think we're going to be kind of solid, you know? Yeah, I think we got a pretty good team going here. Well then. Let's finish the draft and find out how many trades we get. Probably a lot, I'm gonna guess. But last time I tried to do an all trades accepted, didn't get a whole lot. So let's see what happens this time. I'm not doing draft interviews, believe it or not. No, thank you. Yeah, that's a hot way to come into the league. Just no interviews, just straight to the draft. I'm curious though, do we get a draft pick or what? And it looks like we, yeah, okay. We're at pick number five. So let's sim to pick five and see what, ooh, wow. All right, Gus Bus? No way that's his name. There's absolutely no way that's his name. Okay, that would have been hilarious. Oh, wow, they all have like all these X-Factors and stuff. Oh, no, the pressure's on. The pressure is on. Ooh, Demetrius Darling. Guaranteed to be medium elite. 17 years of age. Yeah, let's grab this guy. He's just, you know, jumping right in my face. Okay, 73 overall. Yeah. There we go. Just because it doesn't really matter, I'm going to take a, a shot on this guy. <laughs> He's not going to be franchised, but it's worth a try, right? Uh, oh, he ends up being low elite. Okay, we take those. We take those. And simulate to round number three. I'm just kind of winging it at this point. You know, I'm not really putting any good thought into this. Okay, so that's not going to help. There's no gems there. Uh, potential. Nothing really too helpful there. Oh, my. Okay, yeah, this is, uh, this is a rough go, to say the least. There is not a lot of support here. I could take Robinson, Peyton Robinson, perhaps. But I could also 
take a big risk on one of these guys just for fun. Let's see. Well, we don't know anything. Yeah, there's like nothing I can go off of here. But this guy's got a lot of A's, so sure. Rutkowski. Oh, <laughs> whoops. I'm just going to sim the rest of the draft. I can't be bothered. There you go. Draft completed. So, darling, what a stud. And our second round pick there was pretty good too. But anyway, sim to the re-sign phase. I think I did the add contract here though, right? So we should be good. I hope for the most part. Yeah, okay. We're mint. Good. That would have been horrendous having to re-sign all these guys. Okay. Elite. I, nah, there's no point in signing this guy. We'll leave him unsigned for now. And our goalies. Yeah, all good there. All right. Let's do this. I don't think there will be, but let's just check free agency anyway to see if there's any players here. Oh my word. How do you keep doing this? Get out of here, dude. <laughs> Whatever. He's not going to affect a whole lot. It's not really, you know, points based or anything. It's just accepting all trades. I swear I deleted this man though. Okay. Well, you know what? I think he's just here for the ride. And let's advance to the next season. Oh, we get one already. Hayes for Malcolm Subban and two thirds. Okay. Accept. There you go. There's our first trade. Victor Arvidsson and a third for a second and a fifth. We are off to a really hot start here. Andreoff and a sixth for our fifth. Okay. And more draft picks. Okay. Well, I don't have a choice except that trade as well. That was just incredible. All right. Another trade. Cool. There we go. This is incredible. How many trades are we going to get? Richardson... For, yeah, we, we are going to have zero draft picks left, essentially. That's what it's going to boil down to. We get another trade, and we got to give up Giordano and Detroit's fourth in exchange for a second and a third. All right, see you later, Giordano. Uh, I guess just do best roster. That's rough. Okay, that's, a, that's a, a big hit to the squad, but we should survive. We'll still float on. And okay, so let's edit the lines and see what we got here. Ooh, that's not good. Best lines, boom. All right. I don't like that at all. So I'm going to move Sonny up, I think. But he's a sniper, isn't he? Yeah. I could move Favry down, but... You know what, Arvidsson? You're just going to be a fourth-line sniper. It's been decided. So Peron Hayes and Mangiapane. Smith, Bluger, and Fabry. Felino Haula and Sonny Milano. Arvidsson, Roslevic, and Lindblom. And then on defense... Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, if I take out Forsling and put Shea in, at least that makes that line a zero. Oh, okay. That could work. I might just have to do something like that then. Yeah. I don't want Klingberg on the last pair, but... Mate, I don't think we have a choice. Yeah, uh, look at this. The final pairing is just abilities stacked up. What if I do this then? Okay, we'll do that. That's what we'll rock instead. And I'm guessing... Oh, that works. Ooh, nah. Can't do it. No, I'll just leave it. Okay. There we go. So that's our defense. And in net, we've got Jonathan Quick and Vitek Vanacek. Our HL is probably absolutely stacked. Yeah. Two good goalies there. And then we have Bellows, Joseph, and Tata. We're pretty good in the AHL, I must say. Not defensively. <laughs> wow. Whatever. It is what it is. Okay. Well, let's start to simulate and see if we get any more trades coming our way. I'm assuming we will. And on top of that, uh, where's the trade block? I'm going to edit it to... Put some big names on there if I can. So yeah, we only have draft picks on there right now, but let's add let's add Darling. Yeah, put him on the block. And hmm. Forsling. Because, you know, he's scratched anyway. So there you go. That is our trading block. Here we go. Okay, we get another trade here where we are sending Vancouver's fifth and Andreoff to St. Louis for a fourth. Except that. And I'm just gonna do. Best roster, which is probably going to put Forsling back in, I'm imagining, but anyway. Yeah, got to do what you got to do. Okay, so we're getting Brett Connolly and a fourth plus a sixth in exchange for Minnesota's third. There you go. Another player to add to the squad. And we're losing our AHL guy, I suppose, and a third for another third. Okay, and best roster again. Thank you. Been relatively quiet for a little bit now. Okay, I thought we were going to get one as I said that, but no, we did not. So we're still sort of floating on with no trades, which I'm okay with. That was a flurry of trades all at once. Absolutely 
incredible stuff going on. What a scene. And we get another one. And Forsling, there he is. Goes to the Ducks for two seconds with a second coming from our side as well. Accept that trade. Best roster. There you go. I'm very interested to see at like the trade deadline what our chemistry and stuff is going to look like. And what the team's going to look like, really. We're actually not doing awful here. Nolan, a 7th and a 6th for a... Okay, sure. Well, I mean, I, I can't say no anyway. I have to say yes. But, yeah, another trade going through right there. Bristol, let's go. Boys are buzzing right now. Carolina fired their head coach, Junior Beagle. Wow. All right, I guess they're not doing so good, which is kind of surprising. And speaking of, you have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me. <laughs> Jay Beagle and a second for Ryan and a second. Okay, there you go. Accept that trade and best rosters. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's looking like we have playoff potential. But if we keep going on these losing streaks like that, I don't know. I don't think we can manage it. But uh, anything's possible, especially after the, the deadline, you know? We could go on a massive winning streak, or we could just completely fall off, which I think is most likely. So Mangiapane has the most right now, but I more specifically just wanted to look at the line. So it's still okay. It's about the same. And defensively, yeah, we still got that minus one, but at least we got this going on now with the zero. And Vanacek with quick. Okay, well... Let's jump into the trade deadline quick just to see who's on the block, but we can't make any trades because we're only accepting any trades, which means we're probably done here, but let's find out anyway. Um, I guess we'll just be a, let's be a buyer. Yeah. And enter the deadline. Can you get trades during the trade deadline? Does it work like that? You know what, lads? I'm going to try it. I am going to try it. They want to get rid of Sorokin. <laughs> And I'm willing to play ball. I want a good goalie. They'd be... Oh, we would be over the max salary cap, I guess. Hmm. Okay, let's go to skaters matching the block. Oh, there we go. We get one. I was like, what is going on? Chris Tierney and a third for a second and a fourth. All right, there you go. Another centerman to add to the team there in Christoph Tierney. But now I have to go back to the Islanders and try to get Sorokin because I want a very solid goaltender. So let's go to goalies. They want to get rid of Sorokin. And we want to put him on our team. So let's go to skaters matching the block again. We just picked up a centerman. So I could probably get rid of a centerman. Howla. Um, I'll see you later. And wait, what was the issue now? The Islanders would have more than 45 skaters. Really? Okay, well let's uh, try to grab someone who has pretty much no trade value. Okay. Clutterbuck. We can't take on that salary, but we can take Eric Stull. We'd be over the cap again. What if we ask them to retain a little bit here, you know? Will that work? No. Still no. Ah, this might be a tricky one to get through. So this will not go through, but it's allowed. You know what I'm saying? So let's just see how... Oh, wait, no. What am I doing? There's no way this is even close. The whole reason I was even doing this is because I wanted to add this darling guy anyway. And that apparently will still go through. Uh, okay. I guess because he's not signed or anything. Well, let's just see what happens here. Boom. And trade accepted. Okay, they're going to be cheering in the streets. Whatever. Thanks for the 87 overall goaltender. Doesn't matter to me. I'm only doing one year. So, joke's on you. Uh, Timothy Jimothy would be sick, but I'm, I just wanted a goalie. That's about it. So, all right. It doesn't seem like we're getting any more trades. Is there a way to, like, make this go faster? I guess not. So, I think we're all done. We are all done for trades. Let's get out of the deadline. Go and put the squad together, the final team here, and make a run for it. We actually have Jay Beagle here, and he makes it a zero. Okay, so they want Riley Smith on the first line with Fabry and Perron. We got a plus one with Bluger, Roslovic, and Lindblom. Okay, and then there's our depth. Defense, we're still a minus one there, which is unfortunate, but, you know, it is what it is. Ooh, okay, I'll just do that for now, sure. And in net, we got Sorokin and Quick. Scratched, we have Stull, Witherspoon, and Tierney. Okay, let's see. Do you guys think we can do it? Do you think we can pull off a playoff spot? I don't know, but it would be sick if we could. Yeah, I don't know. Playoffs are looking 
more and more unlikely as time goes on. But you know what? I would still consider this a good first year. I think we did all right. Yeah, we're done. We are Dunions. Oh, well, it was a good run. So let's just continue the simulation, I guess. Yep, keep it going, which I think I only went to the 14th. So let's just sim. Actually, we'll check out the league first just to see who did what. Tampa wins the President's Trophy with 108 points. Winnipeg with 106. They get second. All right, was it the top 16 teams? It was not. We get the 17th placed San Jose Sharks making it in, but that's not that bad. Okay. Let's have a look at player stats now. Perron got 58 for us. He was the leader. He got 51 from Smith. 50 from Andrew. boy. Hayes with 49. Let's check out how our goalies did. I mean, not great. I mean, Sorokin... Yeah, Sorokin did okay. Jonathan Quick. You know what? I'll accept it. He did fine. Yeah, he did fine. Both our goalies did okay. Let's go to the entire league. So, Hellebuck led goalies with 45 wins. Holy smokes, what a legend. And yeah, he had a 9-11 save percentage, 9-14 for Igor here, 9-19 for Carey Price. Check out Defenseman. We got Adam Fox with 73 leading the charge there. Seth Jones, 71. Hughes, Hughes with 70. Uh, why'd that sound weird? I said Hughes and it just sounded like it didn't come out right. But anyway, yeah, you got 70. Let's go to forwards. McDavid with 99. No one broke 100 this year. Ovi with 59 goals and 98 points. 98 from Pasta. Okay, there you go. Nice. Joe NHL only got 93. What a clown. Hey, it's Colorado and Edmonton in the conference finals for the West. That's pretty funny, actually. And they go on to win the Stanley Cup on top of that. Okay. Good for them. That was that was a very quick playoffs. I don't think there could have been a lot of Game 7s then if it was that fast. Let's see, though. Okay, awards. We got Colorado with the Stanley Cup, Tampa Bay with the Presidents, and I guess Montreal made it to the finals in the east side. McDavid with the Art Ross, Pasta with the Hart, Fox with the Norris, Pasta also gets the Lady Bang, Joe NHL with the Calder, yeah. Burakovsky with the Con Smythe, Vesna goes to Kata Hat, same with the William M. Jennings, Graves gets the Masterton, Witt with the Jack Adams, Selkie goes to Joe NHL, Pasta with the Lindsay, and then... Ovi with the Rocket Richard. He almost hit 60, so yeah, not surprising. Okay, so here is the playoff tree, and yeah, there's only one seven-game series, which was Toronto and Boston, which Toronto won, yeah, okay, in the first round. And then the second round, Montreal beat Toronto in seven, and that was the only series there that went to seven. And then the conference finals, nope, and there was a sweep in the Stanley Cup finals. Nice. Well, that was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed that. I had a good time. So many trades going on. Yeah, that was that was a lot, but it was good. So thank you for watching, guys. I will see you soon.